You're watching Up With Krim. The Spokane City Council has adopted a land acknowledgement. In short, it is a statement that acknowledges the city's land was once inhabited by the Spokane Tribe of Indians and surrounding tribes. Before settlers moved to this area, the Spokane Tribes made their home in about 3 million acres of the Inland Northwest. In a small part of their statement, it describes taking a moment to consider the impacts of colonization and acknowledging the strengths and resiliency of the Spokane and their relatives a couple of weeks ago. Now the city council posted the statement online and it gained recognition from hundreds of people. This morning we're joined by Spokane Tribe Council Chairwoman Carol Evans. Good morning, Carol. Thanks for being with us. Ah, uh, Hesquex, Petsia. Good morning, my friends and relatives. Good. Carol, I want to jump right in. Tell us uh, what does this acknowledgement mean to you? Well, for the Spokane people, it means a lot to, and because, I say that because when you acknowledge the homelands or you acknowledge the homelands of the original people, you're acknowledging the importance of those people. And my ancestors have been on the homeland since time immemorial. So the acknowledgement that our people existed, we took care of this land, we lived and sustained off of this land since time immemorial is important to the people of the Spokane tribe. So it's very, very important that um, places that ha now occupy lands that were once inhibited by um, indigenous people it's important to recognize those indigenous people and that they are the original people of the land. Yeah, and Carol, I want to ask, do you see this building a stronger relationship between the Spokane tribe and the city of Spokane? Yes, I do. I see it um, as that, along with building um, trust and building relationships with all indigenous people that live, that now live, because you have many, many tribal nations represented that live in the city of Spokane. So it builds a relationship with the Spokane tribe of Indians and with the people that, the Native Americans that live in the city now. Yeah, it definitely takes work to build that relationship. Is there anything we need going forward to make that relationship better? I think just um, um, acknowledging it, um, reporting on it, um, listening. Uh, I think the people uh, that currently live in the city, it's important that they know that there were an indigenous people that took care of the land that they now live on since time immemorial. Um, our, my ancestors were a river people, a salmon people, and so we would it was a major trading center at the falls, the Spokane Falls. Every year, the salmon would return, and the Spokane people, along with other tribes, would harvest the salmon, and we would trade. It was a trade center. So it's important that people um, know this, because if they know this, then we can build relationships. Um, also with this land acknowledgement, I think what we're really yeah, pleased uh, with is that to... it just didn't doesn't acknowledge that the land is the homeland of the Spokane people, but it also yeah, but, uh, acknowledges uh, that it was a trading center, and it also acknowledges the impacts of colonization on my tribal people and what that happened and the injustices and and with making that acknowledgement, it helps the, the people heal. If, if it's acknowledged that our ancestors lived there, that they were removed from the land, that there were some injustices and the impacts of colonization, what it did to my ancestors, if that's acknowledged, that gives the current day Spokane people the ability to heal because in a sense, the city's acknowledging us and acknowledging that there were injustices and that we need to heal and move together, like it says, of one spirit and one mind. 
Absolutely. Carol, thanks so much for joining us this morning on Up With Creme, and we'll have that acknowledgement on our website, creme.com.